Hi there. As important as it is to understand agile, it is also important for us to understand why agile fails. Is agile the only sole savior for software development? Surely no. However, if you have decided to implement agile or are implementing agile, it is imperative you familiarize with the top reasons for agile failures so that you can look out for these signs in your organization. Following agile for novelty's sake. This may sound weird or almost unbelievable, but it is a fact. Either a project or the organization may have decided to move to agile because everyone else in the industry is using agile and the term agility may give them some brownie points in contracts. Becoming agile is not just about fancy name changes to scrum master or product owner or sprint etc. The investment goes beyond that and includes cultural transformation, end-to-end -end change in the software development flow, changes in HR practices and a lot more. Management may have committed to go agile without being fully aware or committed to these changes. On the other extreme is an overzealous management which may have mandated teams to move to agile without ensuring teams buy-in. Agile thrives in an atmosphere of trust and teams wanting to inspect and adapt to improve the product and processes. With a non-buy-in team, teams could actually work against Agile. When an organization decides to adopt Agile from a traditional development methodology, they choose to transform rather than transition. This has a steep learning curve and they may not be ready to embrace the short-term impact. A need for successful transformation is to have a subject matter expert focusing on ensuring that everyone understands and implements the practices by spirit. The organization may not consider the budget to train employees or allocate a coach and expect each team to figure out agile for themselves. While this may work for some teams, for many it fails. Something not very uncommon are organizations having agile-like practices and defending that it can be mapped to agile practices. While this may be true, however, we are not doing a gap analysis for an ISO audit or a CMMI appraisal. More likely than not, the practices can be mapped only on paper and not on intent on how it was implemented. While Scrum doesn't explicitly talk about automation, in order to scale, it is implicit that one needs to invest in automation and extreme programming practices can help here. Not investing in automation of repeated activities and test cases will increase the project effort exponentially as we move from sprint to sprint. This will eventually increase validation effort and the project would start compromising on quality. Not handling technical debt is another cause for Agile failures. A project with a large base code implementing Agile without a roadmap to improve the code quality would pretty soon end up with a deluge of bugs and blame Agile for exposing them. Expecting one size fits for all. This unknowingly stifles team from inspect and adapt of the project process by enforcing organization level processes expecting that one size fits for all. Dependency with external non-agile teams can be another cause for failures. If you have large dependencies with external teams who do not follow agile, it will be an uphill task to expect intermediate good quality delivery from them for integration and test. This may eventually defeat the purpose of your sprint releases as you may not be able to validate in the product context. These are some of the causes why Agile fails. If you have come across other reasons, do leave them in the comment section. If you found this video informative, please like it and share it and do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.